Most people only view their town from inside out and tend to gloss over its assets and concentrate on its shortcomings. Sometimes it doesn't do any harm to look from the other direction, outside in. Shirebrook has always striven to be larger than life, it was built on coal, rail and engineering, but lacked the historic heritage that some of its smaller neighbours could boast. There were no castles, halls, battles or rich benefactors that the newly formed parish could trade on for psychological superiority. So Shirebrook did what it does best. It created legends. Actors, footballers and politicians have become internationally renowned and have brought the name of Shirebrook to the fore. The inhabitants of Shirebrook have always been proud and have fought to be better than their neighbours. Just like celebrities that rebrand or reinvent themselves when their fame and fortunes are flagging, Shirebrook does the same. But sometimes by accident rather than design, now in just over 100 years Shirebrook is on its third reincarnation. Dan Swain is Bolsover District Council's Chief Executive Officer. He recognises the need to approach regeneration in a more innovative and confident fashion. Well, I think what we've recognised as a district council is that Shirebrook has lots of opportunities to grow. And as a district council, we need to make sure that Shirebrook grows in the right way. And that's about us providing the right level of support. Um, a key part of that support is making sure we can regenerate the town centre, making sure we can continue to do the great work that the NG20 group has done to deal with some of those community cohesion issues. And there's been very positive steps taken there. And to build on a lot of the work that we've done, because I think Shirebrook has massive potential. That potential linked with the di District Council's commitment to growing our area, um, particularly growing bowls over and growing its economy, uh, is a great recipe for success. In 1993, when the colliery closed, the soothsayers foretold the death of Shirebrook. But it struggled through with hope being provided by the East Midland Development Agency. The colliery site was raised and infrastructure installed. Speculative sheds were erected and deals struck. 2004-05 saw the relocation of Sports World to the site and with it the creation of many jobs to add to the thousands of jobs brought in by the firm from Luton. Shirebrook now provides secondary education that the students' ancestors could never have imagined in their wildest dreams. The Shirebrook Academy replaced the increasingly successful secondary school in 2010 with the new building following a year later. Today, the school leavers want more. They want skilled local employment to return to from further education and apprenticeships. Derek Mapp is a well-known international entrepreneur who directed the design and development of Brook Park. To stimulate an economy, it almost certainly will come from the growth and success of small businesses. And what do small businesses require? They require, uh, they require the right advice, they require the right support, but most importantly, they require the premises to establish themselves within a protected environment. So here at the Tangent Centre that we are is a, a good example of the type of things that we were supporting and were promoting when we were at EMDA, which is an environment where businesses can come, no onerous leases, but within a support environment, not only from uh, from the support staff that there is here, but also the networking that they get from other businesses in the centre, uh, so that people get to know who the good accountants are, who the good lawyers are, and how to trade and market themselves. Hi, uh, I'm Sandra. I'm designed by Me Printing Limited, Unit 10. I've been at the Tangent, oh, just over, just over 12 months now. Uh, it's working really well. It's allowed me to have lots of space to, to do things. I uh, design and create adult colouring books and uh, lots of other arts and crafts type products such as card kits, uh, mindfulness journals. It's Patrick Allen. Um, I run Air of Honor flight simulators here. Uh, we're in Unit 5. We've been here two years. The company uh, that we run has a 737-800 series flight simulator which is a full size replica of uh, a cockpit. Uh, we get pilots coming into train and we also get the general public who want to do um, or fly a 737 as a experience. So we have two markets. This is an ideal location because it's just off the M1. 
Um, so we've got a good um, ready market of people who want the experiences and also pilots at neighbouring airports. Steve Dale of E2, our nationally known environmental engineers. Yeah, I think Shybrook's a pretty good place to be. It's a good location for, for the whole UK. We work nationally, so we've got a good motorway network between M1, A1, M18. So geographically, we're placed pretty much central of the country. But really, I think um, through development that's taken place in this area and sort of regeneration funding that's come into it, I think both of us, stroke Derbyshire, have done a great job of putting together a, a very good estate. It's kept well, it looks nice. It's important for us if we've got visitors coming to see us um, that we've got a good front that's, you know, it, it looks professional when people arrive to see us. And I think Shybrook have got a genuine commitment to keep that, that, that image up, really. Mick Poole of Central Polymers designs and manufactures most things polyurethane. We was looking to move anyway, and we are looking on internet, you know, for buildings, and we looked at a few places. Uh, and this one, we found this one, and it just suited us down to the ground. We've got a good access here, and two big doors where we can get stuff in and out, where we, didn't, we haven't had in the past. So, it, you know, it was just ideal, and the price was reasonable as well. Yeah, the council's been very helpful with us and that. They've organised meetings for the broadband and the, the tidying up of the place and that. And uh, we've been to the meetings and, yeah, they seem very, very helpful. Yeah, we're pleased with them. I thoroughly recommend Shirebrook. I mean, we've grown all the time while we've been here. You know, we're like going to grow even more. So, yeah, I would recommend it to anybody. John Grant heads up Motion 5, who design and build exhibitions all around the world. A colleague of mine mentioned Shirebrook in reference to costings for units, industrial units, and it's more beneficial for a business to, to basically start up in Shirebrook. Uh, because we think that there's a, a good, solid base for us to work from because of the location where we're located, in reference to easy access to motorways, north and south, airports, so where we're concerned, that's an advantage. Jim Allen is Superintendent of Police and has worked closely with Shirebrook for a few years. I find to be attractive, well kept um, and somewhere that people care about. The people of Shirebrook care passionately about Shirebrook and that's uh, the councillors that look after the town, the public servants that work in the town and the people that live in the town. They all care deeply about the place and they want the best for it. And um, it struck me very much that tapping into that willingness and that sense of community has very much been the way to uh, contribute from a policing perspective to the change of atmosphere that we've seen in the town over the last year. I would say to anybody looking at Shirebrook from the outside that Shirebrook is a, is a fantastic, safe place to live and work. Jeremy Flint is a local electrical engineer and retailer whose family business has been in Shirebrook for over 70 years. My business is in Shirebrook and I, I can't see me wanting to move my business anywhere else than Shirebrook, to be perfectly honest. I enjoy working in Shirebrook. I couldn't run my business like I run it now in any other place in Shirebrook, to be perfectly honest, because what, what happens is I trust people and they trust me. It's a two-way street. So you've seen the opportunities in Shirebrook. As Chief Exec, I want you to come and invest in Bolsover. It's a great district. We've got lots of opportunities. We've got the right people who can help support you and make sure you get the best for your business. Come and invest in Bolsover. We're open for business.